Hello everyone, I am Lythus and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be doing another manga quality review, this time for the Yen Press standard volume release. And uh, so there isn't much really to note about the Yen Press standards over other standard editions because they tend to follow the formula that the big publishers follow. So. To start off with, I have the first volume of Kiss and White Lily for My Dearest Girl, and to measure the uh, the height, I'm going to start it here, mark it up at zero centimeters, mark it up here. So they're around 19 centimeters in height, and to check the width, mark it right there, all the way up here. Oops, I knocked the volume. They're around 13-ish centimeters in height, 12 and 12 and a half to 13 in, uh, in width, my bad. And uh, so they're the same size as a Viz Media release, uh, standard release, or a Kodansha standard release. Um, and I also have School Live over here, uh, School Live, or School Live, however it's pronounced, uh, which is a little bit of a heads up for my manga haul for August, but... Uh, the the di main difference is that the average cost for these I'm saying average because there's a range. Normally they cost thirteen dollars U.S., but they can be as low as eleven, and they can go all the way up all the way up to I believe seventeen or eighteen dollars a volume, which is just crazy. But uh, to take a look at the page quality, which uh, the pages for the Yen Press standard releases are very, very white, so uh, that's nice. So uh, keep that in mind is that the pages are better than Kodansha paper or uh, Viz paper. So if you can get these at the $11 price point, they're definitely nice. Um, sorry if I spoiled the uh, school live there, probably shouldn't have opened that up. Uh, hopefully you didn't see anything. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, at $13, they're on the more expensive side, but at the $11 price point, they're not that bad at all. The spines hold up really well, so the gluing and the spines are really nice. Um, the front cover and the back cover and the covers in general uh, are with that glossy sort of laminate sort of feel or look, so it's a very common look. Um, one other thing to note about Yen Press is that more so than other publishers, uh, they tend to have more misprints on their spines. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of the front cover bleeding onto the uh, school live spine. But uh, yeah, $13, they're kind of like the standard Viz and Kodansha release, the difference being that the pages are of higher quality. So that might be a plus, but uh, yeah, they are, they do tend to be on the expensive side, especially at those $17 and $18 price points, which is just absurdly high. But uh, yeah, Yen Press Standard Editions, they're typically on the slightly more expensive side, but they, uh, they do have nicer paper and the spines hold up really, really nice. So uh, yeah, that will do it for the Yen Press Standard. Uh, release format. Um, if you'd like to know any anything about the series uh, I have here, you can leave those in the comments down below, as well as any other questions you might have. If you uh, enjoyed the video, make sure to like and share, and if you'd like to keep up to date with all of my content, you can hit that subscribe button. But anyway, that will be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Lythus. Goodbye. <laughs>